Alright, I'm gonna level with you here. I love starting series on this channel, and sometimes I get really enthused about them and series don't do so well. Or sometimes life gets in the way, or I'm waiting for something in Digimon to develop. But you will have noticed that we kind of move from ranking armor digi eggs to just fixing them, quote unquote. But I've always felt bad about that. I've always wanted to get back and somehow finish ranking all the armor digivolutions. Historically, we've done it by crest, so courage rankings, reliability rankings, and that would include the original adventure Digimon, but it always felt a little bit off to me. So screw it. We're gonna end this ranking of crests of armors definitively and on today's video I'm gonna be ranking every single armor Digimon What is up, Digital Companions? My name is Khan EX, and welcome back to a ranking video! Alright, so ranking all the armors, and I am talking about every single armor-ish. I've got every armor Digimon here, I've got every armor X antibody, I've even got Magnemon X Gold Digizoid. The only armors that aren't on this video are the Legend Arms armor Digimon, like Ludamon, which are armor Digimon, but they're not armor. Digimon. These are all armor level Digimon is what I'm going for. And where better to begin than with Bulmon? <laughs> You know what? I like Bulmon. He is a Crest of Hope evolution. And if the Digi Egg of Hope's theme is constellations and Greek myth, the constellation Taurus is a great point of inspiration. And Taurus was apparently a mistress of Zeus. So I think that all works out great. And I like the design. I do wish we saw a little bit more of the Digi Egg of Hope in the actual design itself. So while it can't be an S tier because it doesn't resemble the armor, it will be an A tier. Elephant Mon. Armadillo Mon with the Digi Egg of Miracles. Or apparently also Clear Agumon with the Digi Digi Egg of Miracles? Yeah, the fact this isn't a golden Digimon despite being a golden armor Digivolution is always going to be disappointing to me. Check out our Miracles Fixing video if you want to see how we switch that up. It also apparently can't fly using its turbines, which makes it even stupider to me. It's a great Digimon. I think it would be a fun, like, love armor Digivolution for Armadillomon, but it's a D tier for me as a design. Oryxmon! Hmm. AKA Goatmon. It is a Salomon and Gatomon Digi Egg of Hope armor Digivolution, and it's it's actually pretty good. Likely inspired by Capricorn, the constellation and zodiac sign, and possibly referencing the goat that suckled the infant Zeus. I actually think the design's pretty good. Comparing it to Pegasusmon and Nefertimon, it does kind of feel like the Gatomon inverse to Pegasusmon in many ways. It is lacking a little bit of Digi Egg of Hope, however, the yellow golden horns, I think, do make it resemble a Hope Armadage Evolution, so I'm gonna give it an A above Bulmon. Honey Beemon, my beloved. You know I love bees. I'll never be Nicolas Cage. And Honey Beemon, well, look, you can see the blue body of Veemon underneath. You can see exactly the Digi Egg of Knowledge. It's a fun, interesting way of doing Armor Digi Evolution, but it ticks all the boxes I'm personally looking for. Which, as a reminder, is informed by Digimon Adventure Zero to the show. The archetypes at the show very clearly set up. You should see the body of the rookie underneath, even if it is a bit disjointed or stretched out, or even compacted, I guess. You should absolutely see the Armor Digi Egg inform the armor, and it should either ideally be bipedal or quadrupedal as a mount. Yeah, Honey Beemon, in fact, most knowledge armors are an S. Kabukimon, Gatomon with the Digi Egg of Sincerity and... <laughs> This is one of those ones that almost makes me break my own rules. Shurimon is kind of an outlier in Armor Digimon, in as much that while it is an Armor Digimon, it doesn't necessarily have armor and more like clothing, but it obviously resembles the Digi Egg of Sincerity. Kabukimon does not resemble the Digi Egg of Sincerity, but it actually really keeps up a ton of the themes. You can definitely see how Gatomon could be part of this design, if not underneath it. Gatomon and Magnadramon informing the pink flowers. And there is a bit of green in there, which could be the Digi Egg of Sincerity, plus the traditional Japanese theme. Shuri Kabukimon is representing ninjas, Kabukimon is representing, well, Kabuki. It does tie in really well. It to me hovers in a low S or a high A, but to be consistent, I'm gonna put it in high A. Kongo Mon. Hagurumon, Stingmon, and Wormon can become this with basically any of the golden Digi Eggs, and yeah, it's fantastic. Personally, I see it as if Davis and Vimon use the Digi Egg of Miracles, Willis and Terriamon used Fate or Destiny. I think to me, Ken and Wormon would also use Destiny to match up with Davis to be two sides of the same coin, and Kongomon is a destiny armor dig evolution for Wormon, it's golden. It's an insect or beetle. And while its reference book does specifically say miracles, I think that works just fine too. It's golden armored, I guess is my main point. It's just really fantastic. I would struggle to put it anywhere lower than S. Adramon, interesting. My favorite armor dig evolution from Digimon Adventure Zero 2, not necessarily across the whole franchise. I think what I like about it is it does very much evoke Garurumon, which is why it's a friendship armor 
armor, but twisting it slightly instead of the ice focus going to the thunder element. I guess the theme is spikes, spiked ice, lightning bolts, and it being a mount I just think is really cool. Plus the black on blue coloration works so well. S. Lynxmon. <laughs> the problem is it's not armored, right? It is instead covered in fire. And maybe that's fine. It definitely resembles Gatomon under there. I can definitely see that being the case. And I think the design is overall good. However, like I say, our Digimon in the show are either bipedal focusing more on combat or quadrupedal acting as vehicles. Ragermon, Nefertimon, Pegasusmon, Halsamon, and Submarimon can all be used as mounts. And well, a kid would probably not last long riding Lynxmon into battle. But I do still think it ticks a lot of the boxes with looking for. It feels like Gatomon, there is definitely the fire of courage in there. And the reference book even says it's the polar opposite of Garurumon, which I think is a pretty fun connection between friendship and courage. I'm gonna put it below Bulmon at A. Magnamon. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna clear out all three Magnamon really easily here. Magnamon 100% resembles the Digi Egg of Miracles. It's one of the best Armadage evolutions ever made. It's S. Magnamon X. Hmm. Well, it's Magnamon, but edgier. You know, it's got Gundam feel going on. I, I don't know, I've never personally been that into Magnamon X. I think I'm actually a little bit more of a Rapidmon X kind of guy. It's certainly an interesting design and one that I think is very X antibody, but not one that I'm necessarily that into. I think especially in comparison to other X antibody armor digivolutions that I actually think step up their game a little bit, Magnamon X is a little bit predictable and out the edge. And again, my out the edge scale is all over the place. I'm just gonna put it at B. Magnamon X called Digizoid, however. <laughs> I swear it's not recency bias, but something about it just feels better than its predecessor. It becoming like the Super Saiyan Magnamon X kind of works for me. It's not perfect, but it works for me. I think committing to a fully gold body being fully imbued by the gold Digizoid, it's a great idea. It's definitely still way over designed, but I do think it works a little bit better in this instance. It feels a little bit less misshapen. I'm also gonna put it in A. We're gonna skip over some X antibodies for a little bit here. We're gonna go to Nohamon. Nohamon is very fun. It's a sincerity armor digivolution for Wormmon. And I can kind of see how that... Uh, no, I can't. I mean, it's got a green tunic. That could be Wormmon, right? Also, apparently, the crow on the Scarecrow is the actual Digimon, which makes the connection to Wormmon feel even weaker, in my opinion. It definitely feels Digi-Egg of Sincerity adjacent. You can see how the little red tuft on top of Shurimon could be the red scarf of Nohemon, but I don't know. I just don't think it works, ultimately. It's very middle of the road. I'm going to put it at C. Orkamon is fun. Hawkmon with the Digi-Egg of Reliability, and I can definitely see how that comes together. Hawkmon's frame merge with the aquatic elements. Pretty good. Also something I haven't talked about before, but Orkamon actually has the crest of reliability on its tummy, which a lot of these armor Digimon don't have. It's not necessarily a prerequisite I'm always looking for because sometimes art can just hide where the crest is, but it's definitely a bonus, you know? It's not a vehicle, but I do like that it's like a lifeguard. And the fact that its head looks specifically like the Shamu plane tying into Hawkmon's flight and the digi -egg slash crest of love. I like Orkamon a lot. It does miss some of the traits I'm normally looking for, but I do like it. I'm gonna put it in A. Rinkmon, it's Hawkmon plus friendship. It's an ice skater. It's got a very Hawkmon feeling headpiece. It might be referencing Cyborg 009. I don't care. An ice skater with Thunderbolts combining the two elements of the Digi Egg of Friendship. Yeah, I think that's great. Not necessarily the right color. It's not black like the Digi Egg, but it is blue like the Crest of Friendship. So yeah, yeah, it's a very low S, but it's an S. Sepikmon. <laughs> Sepikmon just makes me uncomfortable. It's Armadillomon with the Digi Egg of Friendship? Like what? So ignoring everything else it's got going on, it doesn't shout friendship to me. It shouts maybe sincerity at a push courage. Also, it's supposed to be the armadillomon evolution, but these feathers at the top feel way more Hawkmonish to me. But I think on almost every level, Sepikmon fails. It's an F. Salamandamon. It's Lynxmon, Fatentomon, <laughs> and Chumon. And you know, in that regard, it could be a lot worse, but I just don't think it's amazing. Uh, d B. Shadramon. Did you give courage? Check. Slightly different way of doing it. Check. Very reminiscent of Flamedramon. Check. Body underneath looks like, admittedly, a little bit more like Stingmon than Wormmon. That's fine with me. Wow, my favorite armor digivolution. Okay, 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 it's like this. It's it's like this. <laughs> Shadramon is so good. Put it in more stuff, please. I'm so glad it's in the card game and stuff now. Toucanmon, Hawkmon with the Digi Egg of Kindness. I'm going on record as saying that I don't like how the Digi Egg of Kindness works. We fixed the Digi Egg of Kindness before. I just think with it having the Rosebud theme and 
how other armor Digimon in Zero Two are based on predecessors. While I get like kindness, cartoony, cutesy is a theme, I don't like that theme. It's not lore accurate in my opinion, and it's also just kind of boring. So Toucanmon as a kindness armor fitting the prerequisites we talked about as kindness evolutions, cutesy Mickey Mouse vibes. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a Hawkmon armor. It's a bird. I mean, you can't really see much Hawkmon under there. It kind of has the same eyes, sort of. It's technically doing a lot of stuff right, but also in very wrong ways. Eh, I'm gonna put it next to Nohamon at C. Thunderbirdmon, however? What a guy. Friendship armor? Check. Resembles Raidramon and other good friendship armors? Check. Is not a Hawkmon armor Digimon. Uh -uh. It is one for Impmon though, and for an Impmon evolution, it looks super similar to things like Beelzemon, but with that friendship element, so I'm down for that. Also, Gotsumon, apparently? What? It's such a good armor Digimon, I just wish it digivolved from Hawkmon. That's why it's gonna go in high A. Swanmon. Gatomon with the Digi Egg of Love. Yep, perfect. It's armored. It feels more serene and angelic, just like Gatomon, and the Digi Egg of Love coming from Biomon and the Crest of Love, making what is basically a bird version of Gatomon. It's amazing. Even the coloration of the Digi Egg is actually accurate. It's got those silvers in there. While I would like a little bit more armor, I'm definitely not mad at it. It's an S. Toge Mogumon, another one where I wish it was assigned to a different Digimon. It being a friendship armor evolution for Armadillomon would be perfect, especially with the coloration of its underbody here. But it is still a fantastic friendship armor. We tweaked it a little bit in our friendship fixing video and assigned it to Armadillomon. But as it is, it's still very, very good. It's got the crest. It's got the kind of black slash dark blue going on. It's a great armor, but not a great Wormmon armor, in my opinion. A. Hi, A. Alomon. I need to be clear on Alomon. I actually like its design as a Digimon. I'm taking the bird element of Hawkmon, putting it with the Courage Digi Egg, and then referencing dinosaurs and dragons, you know, dinosaurs being the predecessor of birds is a great idea. It's just not a great armor Digimon. The blue to me does resemble Vimon, which is perhaps what they were going for, but again, that's inconsistent with the armor theming. Flamedramon does not resemble Vimon. It resembles Greymon, kind of. Raidramon does not resemble Vimon. It resembles Garurumon with Vimon underneath. So if you're going to share Digi Eggs, I don't think the ancient Digimon that uses the armor Digi Egg should inform the form. And I think that's what they kind of went with with the Alamon. It's almost like Alamon is Hawkmon meets Vimon meets Agumon. It's a really good Digimon, I just think it fails as an armor. But I do like the gimmick of dinosaurs being predecessors or prehistoric birds, so I'm gonna put it in high B. Barrowmon is Patamon with the Digi Egg of Courage. It's fiery, and it's supposed to be a guardian deity that protects the ruins of a temple. You know, there's things that tie into Patamon there that I don't hate, but this is very much the Courage Nohamon in my opinion. It's a little bit better than Nohamon, that it does feel a little bit more courage -y, a little bit more fiery. And I'm sure someone in the comments can go, oh, well, there's a million lore and historical reasons and mythology reasons why this is actually the perfect Patamon armor evolution. But to me, it loses so much of what is important about armor Digimon in my opinion. It doesn't resemble Patamon, and it's more clothed than armored, which is not a trait of the Digi Egg of Courage. If it was the Digi Egg of Sincerity, maybe I could forgive it. It's, uh, it's going in C with no him on. Arkelomon. Good Digimon. I like its lore connection to Zudomon. Zudomon having its shell. It's aquatic and, well, okay. As a Wormon reliability armor, it does have Wormon antenna poking through. So, uh, it, you know, it, it's... It's awful, I'm sorry, I hate it so much. Visually, it's just such a mess. <laughs> Where are these knives coming from? That's probably some lore thing I'm not picking up on. It's supposed to have flippers that become sharp like knives, but like, why? <laughs> Where does that come from? You'd also have a tough time using it as a vehicle like Submarimon, because, well, it's got these big spikes in its back. It's going in D with Elephantmon, sorry. Bio Digimon, they're not really supposed to be ranked in their own means, are they? They're just the existing armor Digimon, but with bio stuff. I'm just gonna put them all in B for bio. <laughs> they're fine. They're not better than the existing ones. Rabbitmon is Gatomon with the Digi Egg of Friendship, and I do kind of like what they went for here. Gatomon and Magnadramon specifically being associated with pink, making a lightning fast rabbit with Digi Egg of Friendship is a good idea. I just don't love that it's all pink. I like that they gave it the blue bandana to try and acknowledge the crest of friendship, but I do like how our fixing went in our video. I'm just again gonna go B for Bitmon. Bormon! Same problem we had with Lynxmon and Salamandamon. Definitely resembles Armadillomon a little bit more then Salamandamon resembles Tentamon and Chumon, but not quite as good as Lynxmon, high B for Bormon, and of course, high B for, I'm just kidding, of course Butterflymon is going in S tier, look at this thing, 
My god, the knowledge armors did so well. Gatomon is so visible underneath, even with the claws. The wings referencing Anjuwomon, but also just being, you know, butterfly wings. And the armor of the Digi Egg of Knowledge is right there. It's so good. Can't say the same about Chameleon. <laughs> it's meant to be Armadillomon with the Digi Egg of Kindness, which uh, doesn't really work using the existing themes of the Digi Egg of Kindness either. To me, this looks more like it could be a Armadillomon with the Digi Egg of Sincerity, maybe, especially with that pattern on the shoulder blade being very similar to the Sincerity Crest. I don't know. I think this is actually kind of a fun armor, but it's just in the wrong place. Definitely see it if it had more of a yellow underbody being an Armadillomon armor. But honestly, it might work better for Wormon. Like, if you said this was the Wormon Sincerity armor, I'd be right with you. But as it isn't, it's a C. Kotalmon. It weirdly shares the hair of another Wormon armor, Arkelomon, which weirdly means they're both a little bit more valid, this hair being a connection or almost. But also I think Wormon with the Digi Egg of Light resulting in a Quetzalcoatl is pretty good. It definitely feels like it could be a light armor. Admittedly, it doesn't resemble Nefertimon that much, but it resembles it enough. There is the Crest of Light on the snout. And I can see how Wormon could be under there, even if the body isn't as visible. You know, worms becoming snake-like, fine with me. And there's a little green tuft of hair, which is almost the same color as Wormon. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to put it in A. Yeah, around with Bullmon. All right, got some Adventure Digimon, Digmon. Well, it's my favorite of the two Cody armors. That that's a low S. Flame Drummon. I do love Flame Drummon. It's not my favorite in comparison to Ray Drummon, but it's still a trendsetter. Low S. Flare Wizardmon. It's Wizardmon, but on fire. It being a Wizardmon with the Digi Egg of Courage armor puts it in S, honestly, by default almost. And Tentamon, I can see working too. The knowledge of Tentamon's crest mixing with the fire of courage. It's also got goggles on the hat, which is a pretty cool adventure nod, in my opinion. And it is also a Wormmon Courage armor digivolution. I mean, Shadramon's way better, but it works for that. I think actually overall the design's pretty good. While it's not armored, it is supposed to be a wizard. Would wizards have armor? Maybe not. I don't know, I think this works really well. And it definitely fits to the theme. And just the fact that Wizardmon has actually armor digivolved into it in other media, it's a very low S. Fly Beamon. It's so close to S. That's why I only did knowledge fixing as a short. I do actually like the idea that because it's a Hawkmon armor, Hawkmon's red coloration has had an effect on the armor, making it red. So actually, I really don't think it's that bad. Personally, I would prefer if it looked more like the Digi Egg of Knowledge, but on every other level, it fits Hawkmon so well. You can see Hawkmon's feathers coming through. The Crest of Knowledge is on here. It's a really sleek, cool looking design. Yeah, it's an S. Depthmon. There's Vemon body underneath. It resembles Vemon. It resembles the Digi Egg of Reliability. I mean, it's a Vemon armor. Almost all of the Vemon armors are near perfect. You could also probably use it as a vehicle if you wanted to, or at least as like a diving suit. Mid S. <laughs> Frogmon. You know, it's a little frog ninja. And for a Digi Egg of Sincerity Evolution, that's honestly more than we could expect at this point. So this is supposed to be Armadillamon with a Digi Egg of Sincerity. And while sure, that body does not physically resemble Armadillamon that much, it, it is yellow, just like Armadillomon. I think this actually pretty much is a perfect armor Digimon. Maybe I'd say that it would be better as like an Agumon armor or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's a ninja. Sure, it's reusing the theme of Shurimon, but at least it's using the same theme. And it's got these little helicopter things going on. I think there could be a lot worse Digimon, honestly. Part of the reason why I've been less into the idea of fixing sincerity, because a lot of them are actually kind of sleeper hits. I don't love the design as much as some of the others, but it does tick most of the boxes. So yeah, low S. Gargomon, again, it's Vmon with the Digi Egg of Light. It could probably not be any more perfect. It's an angel gargoyle with the Vemon body underneath. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Put it next to Swanmon. How appropriate. Gold Vidramon. I sort of see what they were going for here, right? Vidramon is like the alternate path evolution for Vemon. So there should be a Vidramon version of Magnamon, but this is just Vidramon with the gold liquor paint. It being gold gives it bonus points, in my opinion, because some golden armadage evolutions like Elephantmon just aren't gold. But I... I, I <sighs> I wish it was armored or something. It's very middle of the road. It's this B. Harpymon. Hawkmon with the Digi Egg of Light. Yeah, perfect. It very much feels similar to Sylphimon. Hawkmon and Gatomon's DNA Digivolution. It's got the wings of Hawkmon plus the angelic side of Gatomon. You can even see some Hawkmon picking through. It's so many weird how many amazing light Digi Egg evolutions there are. And then there's just that one that... What happened? Yeah, Harpymon's fantastic. It's uh, it's an S right up here with Depthmon. Halsamon. It's high A for me. Even though it ticks all the boxes, it's just so boring. What if we just put the armor on the head and that's it. Uh, uh. I just wish there was more to it. When we did Love Fix, we kind of extrapolated on the idea and I much preferred it. So yeah, it's, it's going in A. So 
sorry. Kangaroomon. I don't love kindness armors, but it does fit the brief and you can see Vemon under there. I'm going to put it at a low A. It's one of the better kindness armors because it's Vemon. Maildramon. There is some gold there. And as a Gatomon armor, it does pretty good. It kind of feels in the similar wheelhouse to Nefertimon and Pegasusmon. And there was kind of more of a connection with Dark Maildramon in Digimon Adventure 2020. It being a Miracles Armor Evolution for Gatomon, sure, I wish it was entirely gold, but we've seen worse yeah mid midish a midish a around lynxmon maybe a little bit lower than lynxmon because you can't see as much gatomon under there mambomon listen mambomon is a digimon i've got no problem with a little fish with boxing gloves but why <laughs> Is it Patamon with the Digi-Egg of Light? Pegasusmon and Nefertimon, matching pair. If they were to swap armor Digi-Eggs, you would have Oryxmon. Pretty good. Goddamn Mambomon. <laughs> People think I just hate Mambomon as a Digimon. I don't. I just hate that it's Patamon's Light Evolution when Kari and TK, the matching pair of Zero Two and Adventure, swap Digi-Eggs. That's what Patamon gets. A sunfish. Honestly, it feels more like it should be a kindness armor or even a reliability armor. The fact that this is a light armor for Patamon specifically, if it was any other partner, I might hate it less, but I just cannot stand it as a Patamon light armor. Get in F. Yeah, basic. Kenkimon is interesting. Gardramon with the Digi Egg of Friendship. The electricity making it machinery. You know, it could be worse, although I feel like, again, this could also be a knowledge armor with the whole excavation vibe going on. It's a cool Digimon, a really cool Digimon, actually. But also being used as a Gabumon friendship armor, that I can't forgive. Kenkimon is going in at D. No, let's put it in C because I like the design a lot more. Moosemon is a hope armor for Hawkmon. Now, it does actually really resemble Garurumon, so, uh, wait, hold on. Hope armor? Why is this not a friendship armor? As far as I can see, there's no actual moose constellation. There's a couple of parody constellations based on the moose, but no actual moose constellation. So it fails in that regard. I can't find a ton on the moose in Greek mythology. There's a thing called the Cyrenian hind, which is like a doe with antlers, a deer, which is similar to a moose, I guess. Maybe they're going for like an American, Native American theme instead of a Greek theme because of Hawkmon. I just think this fails on basically all levels. First of all, it looks so much like Ramon, why is it not a friendship armor? It's not a constellation. There's no real Greek myth to it. The design's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna put it at C. Mothmon. <laughs> It's a moth with a Gatling gun on its ass, so I mean, I can't hate it. <laughs> and it's a Patamon knowledge armor, which I can I can definitely see being a thing. You know, the Gatling gun spins like a drill, like Digmon. The body is almost Patamon colored, if you, if you, uh, the head maybe, I don't know. It's an incredible Digimon. It's not a great armor Digimon. Uh, I'm gonna put it at high B. The 30 mon S, ideal, uh, yeah, alongside probably Magnamon. Manta Ray mon. <sighs> It's not a bad Patamon evolution of reliability. It's kind of got Patamon's ears going on and you could definitely use it as an aquatic mount. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just a pretty uninspiring design that's gonna go in at, at, a, at a high B, a low A, a high B. Don't like it that much. A Possumon, Gatomon with a Digi Egg of Kindness. Again, I don't like how the Digi Egg of Kindness manifests, but it's Mickey Mouse Possum. It fits the bill and you can kind of see how Gatomon goes in there. It's significantly worse than Kangaroomon, I think, but uh, it would be like very low A, but I'm actually gonna put it high B just to reflect my feelings more. Owlmon is Wormmon with the Digi Egg of Love. This one's a bit of a stretch. I actually think it's a great love armor. There's the Love Crest, it's got some armor. I think it might work better as something like Pat Mon maybe, or even just an alternate take on a Hawkmon love armor. Great design, but not a great Wormmon armor evolution, I'd say. I mean, it's got wings, it flies, so it does technically work, but I think it would work better for Patamon or Hawkmon. I'm really torn on this. I think it's like, I think it's like a low A. Being such a great armor, it just doesn't fit Wormmon really. Peacockmon, blue gold? Uh, Hawkmon with the Digi Egg of Miracles. Like I say, if it was gold, I think it would actually be pretty awesome. It just, I, uh, I wish I liked it more. I think it being blue gold. Its reference book listing says it's made of a blue metallic chrome Digizoid. Not a gold Digizoid. <sighs> Good Hawkmon armor, maybe a better Hawkmon friendship armor or something. Or if it was gold, a pretty decent Hawkmon Digi Egg of Miracles armor. Yeah, it's a high B. It's a high B. Pippismon. Pippismon is Patamon with the Digi Egg of Love. And, you know, Love is flying based, I get that. And it kind of has some Patamon going on, but it's really not armored. It, it's really not Patamon or Digi Egg of Love feeling. I guess the claws are silver, like the Digi Egg. Don't get me wrong, I actually like the idea of the Digi Egg of Love not always resulting 
flying in birds, but different types of flying creature. It just doesn't feel very love related to me. It feels more like it should be like the digi egg of sonar or something. <laughs> I don't quite want to fail it because it does fit in some regards. I'm going to put it in E. Ponchomon. Great Togemon death evolution. Great Palmon evolution. Patamon with the digi egg of sincerity or Wizardmon with the digi egg of sincerity. Now, technically, I can see how Patamon works here. The Poncho is Patamon colored, which is disturbing. It's almost like Patamon is the armor and the digi egg has grown from within him. But I don't hate it. I, I do think, conceptually, it almost works as a Patamon armor. I mean, it looks just like Togemon and the digi egg of sincerity is based on the crest of sincerity, which is tied to Palmon and Togemon. So I, I can't be mad at it. I'm just disturbed by it. I don't want to think about it much longer. I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put it like here. Pegasusmon, S right next to Nefertimon, go there. Prairiemon, Patamon plus Kindness. Yeah, it's got big gloves and they're, they're kind of armored and I, I can see how that body could be, could be Patamon. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in, in B and not think about it too much. Terramon or Terranomon in Japanese. Uh, we also now have a Terromon in Digimon Liberator, which is pretty funny. This is Armadillomon with the Digi Egg of Love and I can kind of see that. Armadillomon's meant to be an ancient Digimon with the Digi Egg of Love making it fly into a dinosaur. Yeah, the, uh, I can sort of see how that applies. It's a good design, I don't mind it. I just think it's a little bit lacking in Armadillomon vibes and obviously it's more of a purplish silver, a dark gray. So not amazing for the Digi Egg of Love, but I've seen worse. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put it low B by Almon. Poochimon, it fits the bill as a kindness armor on a technicality. The year things kind of resemble Wormon, and you know what? I do think it's quite appropriate for Ken's story arc that his armor Digimon should be something more kind and cutesy. I just, I've never loved it as a Wormon armor. I'm at the stage of acceptance where it's a low, a, a high D, a low C, a low C. Pujimon green though, it's not even close to the right color. It's Wormmon colored. It should be Digi Egg colored if it's gonna be anything. So while Pujimon's red is not the pink of the Digi Egg, it's closer. Just out of old spite F. Rapidmon gold, just as good as Magnemon is. I kind of wish it was its own form and not just a variant of Rapidmon, or I guess Rapidmon is a variant of it. Hmm. But it looks just like the Digi Egg, the more rounded Digi Egg of Destiny in comparison to the more angular Digi Egg of Miracles. They're both great. And I do think I slightly prefer Rapidmon gold to Magnemon. Rhinomon, Hatsumon with a Digi Egg of Miracles. Or Destiny. Yeah, no notes. This is fantastic. I can see how Passamon is under there. It's golden. It's really good. S. Yeah. Sagittarimon. <laughs> Sagittarius is a constellation. Centaurs are from Greek myth. It's a combination of courage and friendship though, isn't it? Go check out my video when you're done watching this one, but there is a card on screen right now. Technically, it ticks all the boxes of a hope armor. You can even see how Vmon is under there. To the point where Ragermon and Flamedramon are very key elements of its design. It, it's an A, but... I'm very confused as to why. <laughs> Searchmon, possibly the weakest knowledge armor on a ticking the boxes criteria, but one of the strongest designs. And I mean, Wormon with the Digi Egg of Knowledge, bug plus bug. Yeah, it's fantastic. Also, Searchmon is who I'd like to introduce everyone who said, the kindness Digi Egg shouldn't be insectoid. Knowledge is already that. You can just double up on insects, man. There's no rule against that. Searchmon is fantastic. Like I said, I do wish that it was more colored like the Digi Egg of Knowledge, but what a great design. And you can 100% see Wormon, especially with these antenna and the headpiece. It feels very Wormon and Stingmon-like. That's an S. That's like a here, right? With Rinkmon and stuff. Yeah, 100%. Actually, I'm gonna put it above Flybeamon and above Depthmon. Seahomon, Armadillomon with the Digi Egg of Light. This has still got the same problems as Mambomon. It just feels like a reliability armor, not a light armor. Why is there this weird obsession with megaphones and stuff with armors that aren't in the show? I also really can't see Armadillomon being under here. <laughs> Let alone Ankylomon. Uh, I don't think it has any redeeming qualities in my opinion. What's the connection? Maybe someone can tell me between seahorses and light. It apparently lives in the deepest trenches of the net ocean, which feels pretty far away from light in my opinion. I'm gonna say it's an F, but it could be an E. I could be convinced it's an E. Sethmon. It's Vmon with the Digi Egg of Love, and it's using love as when love turns to hate, which is a really fun concept. We did tweak it a little bit and give it a much more blue body, but I mean, there is some blue under there and it being love turned to hate it does feel like a great inverse to Halsamon. Very little to dislike there. Like I say we tweaked it but I think it's you know just as good as Flamedramon between Flamedramon and Flare Wizamon. Maybe a little bit less than Flare Wizamon. Sheepmon. Armadillamon with hope. I can kind of see it. There's an Armadillamon-esque body going on there. And Ares is supposed to be the sheep constellation, apparently, the lamb of the world. So there is a constellation it matches. There are golden sheep in Greek myth. It's okay. It, it ticks some boxes. It doesn't tick some others. It looks like it could be maybe a kindness armor instead. Let's, let's put it at a, let's put it at a B. Yeah, around Mothmon, I think feels good. Shurimon, uh, ha, low X. 
about, yeah, like, like here. No, like here. It's really good. It does tick all the boxes. It's just, I've always been a little bit disappointed. It was a little bit less armored, but it, I've grown to love it. Stegomon, it's got the spikes of friendship. Uh, <laughs> it's meant to be Patamon with the Dejega friendship, and no. Maybe Wormon, maybe Armadillomon. The only redeeming trait it's got going is that it has blades. Even most of its moves don't make reference to it having, like, lightning or ice-based attacks. I just think this is a real miss. It only gets an E because it has spikes. So Marimon, yeah, S. Probably probably above Shurimon for me, but not by much. I much prefer Digmon to Submarimon. Tylomon? It being Gatomon's reliability armor, I think works quite nicely in conjunction with Mantaraemon being Patamon's reliability armor. They look like a matching pair. And I also like that it's got the stripes on its tail. It's like kind of like a Tylosaur, but also referencing Gatomon, so I can almost see how Gatomon's under there. I think I'm actually... <laughs> Why did I put Manta Raymon? B? I think I'm actually going to shoot them both as a pair to the top of B because they work together in conjunction. I like how they're a matching pair like Nefertimon and Pegasus Mon. Isn't it funny how Nefertimon's my favorite uh, of those two and Tylermon's my favorite of those two? Oh. Wait, that's Tylermon X. Whoops, Tylermon, yay. Yaxamon, Vemon with the Digi Egg of Sincerity. Yep, there's a Vemon body underneath there. It's got wood and green elements just like the Digi Egg. It being based on puppets and training swords fits in perfectly with with Shurimon's whole vibe. Nothing to hate there. That's a, that's a solid S right there. And that leaves us with the X antibodies that I wanted to leave to last because I wanted to rank their non-X antibody versions first. Alamon X, it increases the sort of uh, Native American vibes, but I think overall the design's a, a little bit disappointing. It, it's with these guys, with the bios, because it just doesn't really do much to change my opinion. Doesn't stand out. The Fittimon X, that one card is uh, is certainly certainly a thing. I think it's fine. I think it's like a low A. It's not as good as Nefertimon itself, although it's it's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, low A. Forget about it. Terramon X, honestly, is kind of what Terramon should have been this whole time. Look at Terramon, then look at Terramon X. It's awesome it being much more fighter jet feeling is incredible and while yeah it does lack a little bit of love i don't even care it's just such a better design it looks awesome a little bit less weedy and nerdy in comparison terramon just feels a little bit like hey guys it's me terramon whereas terramon x feels like it's gonna kick your ass i'm gonna put a low s it's really good and then ending <laughs> on Tylermon X and Mantaraemon X, it's the same thing. They're just better versions of Tylermon and Mantaraemon. Tylermon X ramps up the blades and also has more stripes, making it feel a little bit more like Gatamon. It's even got this underbelly, which is off why it's yellow, but still I can justify that as Gatomon. And Mantaraemon X is just again upping the ante, plus it's creating this ball of energy in between its two pincers, which you can only see as light or hope energy if you wanted to, or at least cooler, you know? They're just literally Tylermon X, but Mantaraemon X better. They're going in, honestly, like right up here with with Magnamon X Gold Digizoid. Oh, Pegasusmon X somehow slipped through the gaps. Wasn't on the list I was referencing, but it'd be right next to Nefertimon X. I think they're as good as each other. All right, and that is it after a very long video. My definitive ranking of every Armor Digimon, remember it is just my subjective opinion. This is how I feel about Armor Digimon, not how you should feel. And my silly little YouTuber opinion is not definitive and should not dictate how people feel or act towards their personal favorite or least favorite Armor Digimon going forward. Never take a YouTuber's opinion and make it your own. Unless you agree with me, that's great, but you don't have to and you shouldn't be expected to. And in that vein, take the rankings in the description down below, where you can come and do this tier maker yourself and share the results with me on twitter.com forward slash Khan underscore EX. I'm really curious to see how you guys feel about Armor Digimon. And if you did the ranking, but you prefer to leave a YouTube comment, just tell me about the Digimon that you like and reasons you like them or reasons you dislike some of the Armor Digimon I like. But remember, do it respectfully don't be a dick. Shout out to my Patreon sovereigns, Jamon and Dogukan. I'm like 95% sure that's ZDK14. And thank you to all my other Patreons. We are working on art videos right now. So if you want to sign up for Patreon, become an art bringer patron or any tier of patron helps create custom art videos. And also thank you to my YouTube channel members. YouTube channel membership tiers are going to be changing in March, but I will put out a post to members letting them know what's going to be happening with that. I do really appreciate you all so much for supporting on YouTube. It's just unfortunate that YouTube takes 30% of channel memberships, whereas Patreon only takes like 5%. If you ever want to switch over to Patreon, it's very easy. You get a ton of bonuses and you don't miss out on anything. Thank you to everyone who supports this channel with their hard-earned money though. I appreciate you all very much and I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye-bye.